Gordon Sondland, the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, is set to testify Thursday before Congress, despite White House attempts to block his appearance. Democrats say Sondland served as an intermediary between President Donald Trump and the Ukrainian president as the White House pressed Ukraine for a favor. Trump wanted his Ukrainian counterpart to investigate possible misconduct by the son of former Vice President Joe Biden, one of Trump's potential rivals in next year's presidential election. We're keeping our focus uh, right now on the president's coercion of an ally, that is Ukraine, to uh, create these sham investigations into his political opponent. The Associated Press reports that Sondland will testify that he understood the White House was offering a quid pro quo. On offer, a high-profile meeting with Trump in exchange for Ukraine's announcing it would investigate Hunter Biden's ties to a Ukrainian energy company. Sondland will be testifying in response to a subpoena. He initially declined after the U.S. State Department ordered him not to cooperate. Trump and his party say the hearings are politically biased. The new precedent for impeachment is that we don't like this president that just got elected, so we're going to spend all four years trying to impeach him. Some Democrats say they may no longer seek the testimony of a whistleblower whose complaint started the impeachment inquiry. There have been concerns over whether they can keep the whistleblower's identity a secret. Trump also asked the Chinese to investigate Hunter Biden's work for a Chinese-backed investment firm. China declined, saying it will not interfere in the internal affairs of the U.S. Hunter Biden says he will resign from the firm's board of directors. He also said that he will not work for any foreign-owned companies if his father becomes president. Trump and other Republicans have repeatedly suggested that Hunter may have acted inappropriately without presenting any evidence. Toby Muse, CGTN, Washington.